Hello everyone, welcome to another time-lapse sketching tutorial. So this is the sketch that we are going to draw today. These are shop houses along North Bridge Road here in Singapore. And those are the colors that I'll be using, a limited color palette of PY150, PB16 and PR122. Those are all from Schminker. And if you want to try and draw this sketch, you can download the reference photo, which is in the video description below. This scene is rather complicated, so I want to start by using my pencil to block out the general shape and composition first, so that later on when I draw with ink, it's easier, it's going to be uh, more accurate. By the way, this time-lapse video, this is actually the condensed version of the full-length tutorial that I have made for my patrons. So if you guys want to check out the full tutorial in normal speed, you can support me on Patreon. The link is in the video description below. So for this sketch, I start by drawing from the left to the right. And the height of the buildings on the left side they are very important because if I were to draw those buildings too tall, then the buildings on the right side, they will have to be drawn taller by proportion. So if I draw this too tall, I will run out of space when it comes to drawing the buildings on the right side. So I have to make sure that I draw these buildings here at the correct height. So what I do is I will measure um, the height of these buildings let's say the height is about one unit and I will compare these buildings to the buildings on the right side and see how many times uh, those buildings are in terms of height compared to these buildings on the left side. And after I draw the roofs of the buildings, I draw some cars, some vehicles in front because these vehicles, they overlap the buildings. So I want to draw them first before I draw other details behind, such as the windows and the walls and the pillars and basically any other things that are behind the vehicles. Uh, vehicles are nice. Vehicles and people walking on the street, they give a sense of scale to uh, whatever buildings there are in the background. So instantly when you look at someone, you will be able to tell how big the building is. Um, drawing vehicles like this, it's a bit challenging in the sense that uh, these vehicles, they are all for shorten. And secondly, um, these vehicles, they are quite small. So when drawing these vehicles on a small sketchbook like this, I, uh, I am not able to include a lot of details. So the only things I can draw for those vehicles would be the windscreen and two wheels and of course the side of the vehicle. Now when drawing the side of the vehicle, because it is compressed due to perspective, you have to make sure that you get that width right relative to the windscreen that you are drawing. So um, if you know in real life, the side of the vehicle will always be longer compared to the windscreen. But when the vehicle is in three quarters view, or when you are looking straight from the front and you see a bit of the side, that side is going to be very compressed due to perspective. So you need to get that side right. I mean, you need to get the width of the side right in order to convey a convincing vehicle in 3D space. For the lampposts that I'm drawing, they are also affected by the vanishing point. So you see the lights. They actually go down, they are aligned in uh, this imaginary line that goes down to a vanishing point on the right side. And that applies to the roofs for these shop houses. Now what I like about this particular scene is there is really nice uh, light and shadow. So later on when we color with watercolor, it's uh, going to look really nice. Now for these shop houses that are in the far background, I'm just using straight uh, vertical lines to represent the windows because these windows, they are very far in the background. It's very difficult for me to draw. I mean, it's very difficult for me to represent uh, uh, those windows with rectangles. So just by using vertical lines, I can suggest the windows. 
and now I'm drawing the right side so that's the curb I'm using the vehicle on the left um, to let me know where I should draw the curb now uh, I should probably draw the curb a bit higher because uh, right now the angle it's it's well it's a bit steep it should be more horizontal anyway um, let's see where we are now um, when drawing a sketch like this it's very easy to lose track of where you are because um, because there is a lot of detail so it's very easy to get lost so sometimes I'll want to draw some elements on the page to remind me of where I am in this case I can draw the signboards because they are well easy to draw and those are pretty big they will help me remember where I am for this angled roof, um, this angle or this diagonal line is actually pointing to a vanishing point. Um, it's, um, it's a different vanishing point compared to the vanishing point for the buildings across the street because those buildings across the street and these buildings that I'm drawing right now, the vanishing points are different because these buildings, they do not face each other directly they are actually at an angle and this is basically the foreground element so for foreground element you can add a bit more details but um, in this case here these foreground elements these buildings here they are for shorten that means we do not see these buildings from their front we actually see more of their side so we can actually try and simplify the details okay so the main buildings have been drawn the buildings in the foreground have been drawn and now we can draw the buildings in the background and for those buildings in the background like those tall offices uh, and residential blocks i'm drawing them with thin lines i use the other side of my fountain pen to draw the thin lines the fountain pen is a bit scratchy when you use the other side of the pen nib but this is quite nice when it comes to drawing thinner lines and I want to draw thinner lines because these buildings are in the background so objects that are in the background that are far away they are smaller so you can use thinner lines to represent those um, those far away objects here I'm just adding some additional details to the shop houses I'm also using thinner lines for those uh, little details that are on the shop houses such as the windows usually when it comes to using thicker lines we want those lines to represent the form of the uh, element of the subject that we're drawing and thinner lines are used for drawing surface details okay so let's color this um, i'm using a limited color palette because it's easier to achieve color harmony the sky is painted wet on wet with halo turquoise which is pb15 it's a variation of phthalo blue the color is not as um it's not as striking it's not as blue compared to phthalo blue it's a nice color and for the shadows it's just a mix of the three colors together I try to paint the shadows and the ground here with one single wash I try to create this uh, big shape that is connected all together while leaving while remembering that I should leave certain areas white because of the strong sunlight the light source is coming from the left side so some of the buildings some of the shop houses you see there they have uh, the walls lit by sunlight and the contrast is very strong so I need the white to remain white so here um, I mean after painting the shadows for the side of the buildings that's the first wash I went on to add some colors some spot colors to places where 
there should be colors and then finally I add the second wash to make the shadow areas I mean to add those areas that are really dark to make them darker to create the extra contrast because if you take a look at the photo um, the darker areas they are really dark like close to black so I want to make my shadows much darker as well but I don't want to make it so dark that I cannot see the lines beneath alright so this is the completed sketch and here's a close up on the details I like to add some dots here and there to create textures and I also want to um, draw some um, dots on the signboards to suggest there are words there so this sketch it's really about simplification draw from the big to the small and if you cannot find space to draw the details just leave them out alright I hope you enjoy this tutorial if you want to learn more about pen ink and watercolor sketching you can check out my many free video tutorials on the YouTube playlist link is in the video description below or you can also choose to support me on patreon to get access to even more tutorials like very in-depth full-length tutorials and you can also send me your sketches for critics where i can uh, point out areas where you can improve uh, you can do that by supporting me on patreon patreon is a website where people can support the artists that they like by pledging a certain dollar amount per month and in return my patrons they get access to full-length tutorials that i have made over the years and videos like this are made possible because of my patrons so thank you very much for your support all right see you guys in the next video bye